Hey, Gary Baker here, 30minutemarketing.net. In this quick video, we're going to take a look at how to build a lead generation website for free, step by step. As you can see on the screen, this is what we're going to be building. So I want to warn you that we may jump around a lot. So you may have to pause, rewind, make sure that you're following all the steps specifically when we get inside of the Zapier connection or the Zapier connection between Groove Pages and Google Sheets. You will also need to understand that the integration is going to occur. These accounts will need to be logged into. I'm not going to show you that, but it's very simple. They're just simple pop-ups where you enter your username and password information to complete the integration process between Zapier and Google Sheets and Groove Pages. So, in this simple scenario, we are generating leads. Generating leads from search, AdWords, and Facebook. Those leads could be for anything. A free giveaway, a digital download, a physical event where someone shows up. So you could be running this opt-in page on your free Groove Pages account. Of course, you can get a free Groove Funnels account by clicking on the link in the description. Or what you could do is you could provide your affiliate link to clients. So, for example, physical businesses that are trying to generate leads, you could provide your affiliate link. They could create a GrooveFunnels account. Then you could provide the service of setting up this lead generation website and integrating this between their Groove Pages landing page or their lead generation page, Zapier, and Google Sheets. So, with that, let's get into it. So, here we are inside of GrooveFunnels. Again, link in the description for your free GrooveFunnels account. We're going to pop into Groove Pages. Here you're going to see that I have one free site that I can create before I have to upgrade to Pro with this green button. Before we create the new site, let's jump up to this hamburger menu and check our integrations. Here you can see that Zapier is integrated already. If it wasn't, you would just click Add. You would drop down the menu, click Zapier, and just type in that integration description and click Update. So we're good to go. We'll go ahead and we'll exit out of here and go back and build our page. We'll click New Site. That'll bring up a template where we can start from scratch or we can select the template. Let's go ahead and select this template right here to work with. So once we're inside the template, what you'll see here is your email form and send to me inside of this container. We'll go ahead and click on that container right there. So this is the container, but this button and this email form are not the forms that you want to use. So you need to go ahead and delete these. To delete that, you just simply click the little trash can. Confirm that, click the button, delete that button, confirm that. Then what you want to do is you want to hop over to Elements. Then you want to scroll down here to where it says Form. Now here you want an empty form. And you want to drop that inside of this container. And what you see there is this is an empty form container. Try dragging some form elements onto it. It's a light purple dotted line with a light purple sentence that I just read. You'll see the green box around that. What we want to do is drop in input fields and submit buttons. In the input field, we're going to add three, and it's going to be name, email, and phone number. Then you're going to need a submit button, and you want that submit button to be inside that form container. So drop it right there. If it didn't drop where you want it, move it down to the bottom. So now check your breadcrumbs. This is very important. When I'm showing Groove pages, I make sure everyone is paying attention to where they are on the page builder so they don't get lost. Check the breadcrumbs, body, block, container, layout two by two, container, form container, container, form submit. We are working inside of this form container. So again, click on the form container, come down here, select form container. You'll see the configuration pane here, the design pane and the configure pane for form container. Click configure. This is where you want to set up your integration and your integration is going to be Zapier. Now, you can set up a redirect, for example, a thank you page. I'll just go ahead and make this 30minutemarketing.net. We'll go ahead and we'll update that. Now what we want to do is configure each one of these input forms to make sure that we have the field set up that we want to collect. So under each input form, we're going to say name, name, and we're going to say something like enter name. And we're going to update that. You can see that change. We're going to click on the next one. This is going to be email. So we're going to just say email, email. And we're going to say enter email. We're going to update that. The next one is going to be a input ID of, we're just going to call it phone, phone, and we're just going to say enter phone, and we're going to update that. Now we want to select the action for the button, and the button here is just a simple submit, but the button text here can be entered. You could say 
send your info. Of course, make this call to action, exactly what you need, what you want it to be. And of course, now we're just going to simply publish this. I'm going to leave out the formatting of this form, adding headlines and all that, because this is just simply about the integration. And we have a lot to cover in this video, and there's going to be a lot of moving parts. So now let's just go ahead and publish this, host your site with us. We'll go ahead and we'll call this lead page, and we'll go ahead and publish that. Now you can see our content is saved. Changes usually go live within a few minutes, but may take longer. Then you'll go ahead and just click on your subdomain, grouppages.com, and it'll take you over to your subfolder, which we called lead page. Now we have our opt-in page right there with our form container, name, email, and phone number, and our submit button. Let's pop back over to my Funnelist account and look at the diagram before we move on to creating the Google Sheet and setting up the zaps. I wanted to come back to this diagram and make sure that we're on the same page and exactly what we've created. We've created the opt-in page on Groove Pages and we've set up the initial integration with Zapier. We are going to log into Zapier and we're going to show that step by step. But first, we're going to go into Google Sheets and set up our Google Sheet to make sure that we have a Google Sheet that we can collect the lead information, which is the name, email address, and phone number. So now let's hop into Google Sheets. So here I am in Google Sheets, and what we're going to do is create a blank spreadsheet. Here we're going to name this spreadsheet here, Groove Pages Leads. We're going to create some headers here, name, email phone and that will save right there and as soon as that saves to drive now we are ready to go into Zapier to check out how to set things up there. So inside of Zapier what we're going to do is we're going to create or make a new Zap. Of course if you don't have a Zapier account you will need to log in. It's free and you can integrate it with your Google account. Of course you're using Google Sheets so it makes sense to just log in with your Google account Everything inside of the Chrome browser at that point is going to be synced up and you'll just need to authorize Zapier between GrooveFunnels and Google Sheets. That's all very self-explanatory, so we'll just continue with making a new Zap. So here what we're going to do is step number one when this happens. When information from our app in GrooveFunnels is sent to Zapier, we're going to trigger an event. So we're going to continue. Here we're going to choose that account. Again, if this wasn't connected, you would just simply connect the account. There would be a button here that says log into your GrooveFunnels. You'd click that. There would be a pop-up window. You would just simply log into your GrooveFunnels account. And you can see here that I did that 35 minutes ago. And now we're just going to continue. Here's where you're going to customize your data. And of course, we're going to do that with integration that we have connected. And we're going to click continue. Here's where we're going to customize our data, and here's where it's going to be looking to find the data that we're sending from GrooveFunnels to Zapier. So now let's go back to our Groove pages, our Groove page, our lead generation site that we built, and actually send some data so we can test this trigger and finish configuring this Zap again to get the leads that we're collecting on our lead generation website on Groove pages into Zapier over to Google Sheets. So here's our page that we created. We'll go ahead and we'll enter a name. We'll enter email, we'll enter a phone number, and we will send our info. It's going to say sending, successfully sent. That redirection we set up is going to happen at 30minutemarketing.net. You can see that right there. Now we're going to go back to Zapier. We're going to finish setting up our trigger. And here we want to test our trigger. This found the data that we sent from Groove Pages, that form we submitted. So in this case, the person is opting into our form. This would be their information. You can see right here the information was found. We'll go ahead and select continue. Now what we're going to do is next step, which is send that data to Google Sheets. So what we're going to do is create a spreadsheet row. We're going to continue. Here is our account with Google and our Google Sheets. I'm going to go ahead and continue. Here you're going to choose a spreadsheet, group pages leads that we created earlier. The worksheet will just be the default worksheet, which is sheet one. We'll go ahead and refresh those fields. There we have name, email, and phone number. So now we're going to set up that data and link the data from the Groove Pages form to the Google Sheet. And you can see here, all you need to do is click on this and we'll select the name. Here we will select the email. Here we will select the phone. You're going to see here you don't see it, but show all options. You're going to see the phone number right there. Now we are just going to continue. Here 
All you're going to do is see that the spreadsheet name, the worksheet, the name, the email, the phone number, and we're going to test and continue. Now that has sent the data from Zapier. So the data that was sent from Groove Pages, and let's hop back over to Funnelytics real quick. So the data that was sent from our lead generation website inside of Groove Pages, those three fields inside of the form, as soon as they hit the submit button, was sent to Zapier, and then that was sent from Zapier to Google Sheets. Again, very simple, but I wanna make sure that we're on the same page and we're fully understanding that leads are coming in from Search, AdWords, Facebook, as, the, as this example shows here, and we're funneling those into our lead generation website. Our leads are entering their information. We're sending that information to Zapier. Zapier's taking that information and sending it over to Google Sheets. So that Zap has been set up right there. We'll hop over to Google Sheets. You can see there that that information was populated instantly under name, email, and phone number. Now we'll go back to Zapier, make sure that that Zap is turned on. You can see there, turning on your Zap. Now that Zap is on, you can simply just go back here and see your Zaps that are up and running. You can see here that it is on. Now let's go back to that Groove page. Of course, our Groove page, if we want to get back to it, we would just click on that URL that we've published. Here you can see the page again. We'll go ahead and we'll enter different information, different phone number, send info, successfully sent. You're gonna see the re redirection to 30minutemarketing.net. Now we should hop over to our Google Sheet and there you go. We have the information we just entered and now you are collecting leads. Just like again, you see here in this diagram, leads coming from search, AdWords, Facebook, into your free Groove Pages account that you set up again with your free Groove Funnels account. Link in the description. You could set this up for clients, use it to generate your own leads, interconnect that with Zapier and Google Sheets, and you have the ability to collect leads and follow up with them for anything, any type of service that you need to generate leads for. This video was helpful. Give me a thumbs up. 30 minute timer here on the end screen. Click that timer. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Just like the videos you see here on the end screen. Click those. Keep watching. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.